Hi, I'm Dr. Stacy Grossbaum, an orthopedic surgeon with a specialty in shoulder and knee reconstruction. And I'm going to talk to you today just like you're one of my patients who's coming to see me about getting a rotator cuff repair. So I'm just going to kind of give you some information that I would give my patients once they have decided they're going to move forward with a rotator cuff repair. So you, this is done as an outpatient facility. You will meet with the anesthesiologist um, the day of your surgery. The anesthesia doctor will put in what's called a nerve block. They will numb up a series of nerves that come out of your neck that will innervate your arm. So your arm is completely numb. You will have no pain for about 16 to 18 hours after your surgery. We know that patients that don't get nerve blocks have a lot more pain after surgery than the ones that do. So nerve blocks are good. We're then gonna head back to the operating room. This is an outpatient procedure. If you're just having a rotator cuff with not a labral repair or any other procedures, it's about a 45 minute to an hour outpatient operation. You will go asleep for the surgery. You won't hear or see anything going on in the room. You will get four to five little tiny incisions around the shoulder. The incisions are used to insert a arthroscope, which is about the size of a small pencil. Uh, it's actually a high, um, it's a high definition TV camera. So we get these really clear images of the inside of your shoulder and it gets projected up onto a 4K monitor. So the images are very crisp and clear. We can see everything going on in your shoulder. So I will go through the shoulder, find what's wrong and fix it. The plan is to go in and fix the rotator cuff. Typically the rotator cuff is torn off the bone. I'm going to repair it back down to the bone using three, we call them suture anchors. They're like little screws made out of a synthetic bone that has a suture attached to it. So I'm gonna put the screw in the bone. The stitches will be attached to the screw and then gonna sew the torn tendon back down to the bone. So the tendon has ripped off the bone. I'm gonna reattach it back down to the bone. And that procedure takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do. You're going to wake up. You're going to have a dressing over your shoulder. You will be in a sling. You will then be discharged from the surgery center anywhere between 40 minutes to an hour later, just depending on how quick you wake up from the anesthesia. Most patients don't have much nausea. This is typically done in an outpatient facility. The anesthesia doctor is very used to doing outpatient surgery. So they put you to sleep quick, they wake you up quick with not a lot of nausea. And you can most likely eat a full dinner that night if you're doing well. You'll then follow up with me in my office about 10 days later. Uh, you will have little tiny stitches where I close the portal sites. Those stitches will be removed. That is typically not a painful process to get the stitches removed and then most likely get you started in some physical therapy. The physical therapy for the first six weeks is minimal, just to make sure that the range of motion is somewhat maintained so that shoulder doesn't freeze up. You may be in a sling for two weeks, you might be in a sling for six weeks. It just depends on the size of the rotator cuff tear and the quality of the rotator cuff tear at the time of surgery. I will then typically see you back six weeks post-surgery, we will then increase your physical therapy to the point where you're starting to do full motion and we really focus on getting your strength restored. The one thing I caution you about, if, if you are a smoker, stop. <laughs> stop the first six weeks. Uh, cigarette smoke, the nicotine will impair the healing potential of the rotator cuff. So please stop smoking. Every cigarette less you can smoke is something you can do to help this, this surgery be successful. Secondhand smoke is just as bad. So if you have a partner who smokes in front of you, please ask them not to smoke in front of you because secondhand smoke can be just as bad for the rotator cuff healing. So at six weeks post-surgery, you come back, we increase your physical therapy. The next six weeks is where we really start to focus on strengthening the shoulder. So when it's all said and done, before I'm like, you did awesome, go back to doing what you wanna do, it's between five and six months. It, it's a long recovery. Quick surgery, long recovery. Typically about four, sometimes as long as six weeks after the surgery, that night pain that you had before that just was not allowing you to sleep will go away. So your pain will significantly lessen, you'll get your range of motion back and your strength uh, will be uh, restored. 
but it is a long process. There's a lot of physical therapy involved. I always say it's a team approach. It's me, it's you, and the physical therapist to come out with a successful rotator cuff repair.